Yo, 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 what is good, YouTube fam? It is your boy, Joe Fit Johnson, back at it again, bringing out some fire content. So if you are new to this channel, this is where we come for fitness, health, mindset, you know, modeling, crypto, overall self-development. You know, uh, we've got a little wide, wide spectrum over here uh, on this channel. But just to get straight to the point, man, um, I'm here to break something down for y'all. I'm giving y'all some free sauce. Um, so make sure that y'all watch, make sure y'all stay tuned. As you can see from the title, this is going to be a nice little meal prepping guide. You feel me? Not only meal prep, but just an overall foundation for your nutrition, overall ideas for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, uh, and just giving y'all some insight. This is going to be based around Trader Joe's, but you can use a lot of grocery stores for the sauce that I'm going to give y'all. But Trader Joe's is a place that I like to shop. It provides a nice little bang for your buck. The aesthetic, I... Don't get me wrong, y'all. I was not hip. I was not liking Trader Joe's at first as well. Trust me, I'm with y'all. But give it a little chance. You know what I'm saying? Give it a little chance. Try out. I know the aesthetic ain't looking too well and stuff, but it's become one of my favorite grocery stores. And yeah, but I, either way, you're going to be able to implement this. Whether you go to Aldi's, Rouse, Whole Foods. I mean, those are all. Walmart. I used to shop at Walmart back in Minnesota. Don't recommend. Try to go to you know, even farmer's market, just try to go to higher quality grocery stores as you expand your health consciousness throughout this journey. All right, so let's get it. No stagnation, lean and quick Trader Joe's meal prep for busy professional. So cooking doesn't have to be a chore, although, you know what I'm saying, meal prepping in the forefront, yes, it's going to take you a couple hours, but it's going to save you so much time in the end throughout your week. It's going to help you to become more consistent and overall, you build this habit, you build this discipline, and it's going to allow you to be consistent. It's going to allow you to get the results and stick with it. You feel me? Um, so yeah, let's get into it. So first things first, why do we give out so much free game? Y'all see my channel. Y'all see the free guides. Y'all, I'm tapped in. I'm giving y'all free workouts. I'm giving free nutrition. Why, why do I do this? I do this because I understand that it's a struggle, right? I've worked with dozens We've worked with dozens of busy professionals, and we understand that it can truly be a struggle to figure out how to get the results that you want on your own, especially with all the different information, all the different, you know, uh, nutritional, we've got fasting, keto, we've got all these different things. It's like, okay, what's actually going to work? What's actually going to be sustainable? So I'm here to kind of cut, cut some of the extra fluff, cut some of the extra fat, and just like help you to at least build a foundation that I think that everyone can build from. Uh, just basic understanding of eating whole foods, high protein diet, overall changing your mindset and being more intentional with, with the things that we put into our body and then just developing the habits. That's what I believe in. I don't believe in the fad diets. I don't believe in things like that. Um, I believe in true sustainable habits, mindfulness and, and overall just wanting to be better, both mentally, physically, spiritually. And I believe that nutrition is a foundation of them all. Right. And nutrition is 80 percent of the results. You can work out at the gym super hard, but if you are lacking the information, if you're lacking the knowledge in your nutrition, you're going to struggle, bro. Like that's just what it is, right? So this is my passion. This is what I this is what I do. And as you download this, as you see, um, you're gonna be able to scroll down, you're gonna be able to see many of the testimonials, you're gonna be able to hear from our clients. This is this is what we do. You feel me? Like this is what we do. And I just want to build trust with y'all. I want to give y'all free sauce. Feel free to implement these tools. There's literally no pressure to, yes, I. this is a coaching academy. Yes, I have a coaching academy, but there's no pressure to sign up. There's no pressure to work. Like use this sauce, use these resources. And if you decide, okay, I want some extra help or I want a plan built for me, or I, I want some coaching, then okay, we're just a message away. But outside of that, use this sauce. You feel me? Use it. Um. So yeah, definitely make sure you tap into the Instagram channel at Joe Fit Johnson. Uh, there I post a lot of gyms like this. Uh, it's a lot more intimate. I may post my, you know, my meals, direct workouts straight from me working out. It's just a place where I'm just like, it's like a private store. It's like a private club. And then obviously we have the No Stagnation Academy YouTube channel where I'm breaking down workouts, just everything fitness. Um, and then we also have the Facebook group, which I actually didn't add in here. I'm sure there's a link somewhere in here, but definitely make sure y'all add Facebook group, the discord It's going to be the link below in the uh, YouTube description anyways. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Make sure y'all check out these reviews. Like I said, we do, we do this. You feel me? You feel me? Like we really do. Um, so yeah, 
And then if you want to work with me, if you want to work with my team, if you want coaching, if you want direct guidance, if you want to be able to ask questions, literally, you can click there, you can apply, uh, and we'll reach out even if you have questions, if you want coaching, so on and so forth. So let's start with step one, right? Frozen food, right? If you're somebody who's busy, if you're someone who's on the go, frozen food is going to be something that's beneficial because it's convenient. There, it holds nutritional value. It's not going to, you're not going to waste as much food because it's frozen. You know, like when your strawberries and your bananas are going bad, instead of just letting them go bad, throw them in the freezer, use them for your smoothies later, right? You can prep up breakfast burritos, leave some in the fridge, leave some in the freezer, prep them. There's different ways that you can go about frozen food, whether you're buying the frozen food or you're cooking and then freezing it. There's different ways that you can go about it. Um, but overall, make sure that you're being mindful and cautious because a lot of frozen food can be highly processed. You know, like back in the day, I mean, my moms used to, you know what I'm saying? We used to have TV dinners and whatnot. That's highly processed. You feel me? It's like no quality frozen food from, you know what I'm saying? Highly processed food. Um, and then also start tapping into your macros. And we're going to tap into the macros later, your protein, your carbs, and your fats. So make sure y'all watch to the end. Make sure you hit the like, the subscribe, and make sure you go down and download this. This is it's free, bro. It's free. You feel me? Um, <clears throat> so Trader Joe's top quick breakfast food meals. And this is going off my personal, what I like, my recommendations, um, and things that I think will help y'all. You feel me? So we got the quick oats, flavor oats, overnight oats. With these oats, you can do different things. Uh, I do have some clients who put protein powder in their oatmeal. Um, that's something that's popular within the fitness community just to maximize the protein out of the oatmeal because once you get into tracking your oatmeal, you're going to see that it's heavily carbs, right? So it's like, okay, how can I get protein with my oats, right? Then you have you know, your breakfast sausage, your turkey, your smoked salmon, things like that that you can add onto your like avocado toast, your breakfast sandwich, your egg sandwich, eggs, bacon, you know what I'm saying? Some protein waffles, protein pancakes. Um, these roasted potatoes, I promise, clutch. From Trader Joe's, this exact bag makes making some breakfast potatoes so much easier. You can have it for breakfast potatoes. You can have it for dinner potatoes. It don't matter. You can also just cut up potatoes and do the same thing, but this just makes it way easier because they're seasoned. You just cook them with some avocado oil, with some coconut oil, you know what I'm saying? And, and they're good to go, you know? Um, so yeah, we got those. We've got the eggs for the eggs. I recommend personally going to the farmer's market and getting you some local pasteurized eggs because when I crack the eggs from the grocery store, even if they're pasteurized versus the ones from our local farmer's market, the ones from the local farmer's market, they, you know, I get the blue ones, I get the brown ones, and they just have like a deeper, creamier, yellow texture and flavor to them. Um, and I believe that they're just like, you know what I'm saying? They're cared for a little bit better. So I would recommend that. But if not, then, you know, grab you some, some, some pasteurized, some free range, just higher quality, the better. That's just, that's just my MO. You feel me? Like I'm a, a are you going to fuel your, 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 your vehicle as a Lamborghini? You know, are you a Lamborghini over here? Or are you going to fuel it with, you know what I'm saying? Some 87, you feel me? So it all comes down to your mindset. Um, Protein waffles and pancakes. So don't just be making pancakes, just regular old pancakes that's just giving you pure carbs. Get some protein in there. You know what I'm saying? Get some whole grains in there, whole wheat. So I like Kodiak cakes, uh, protein pancakes. I used to smash those all the time. They have the waffles as well. Um, don't just get the Eggo waffles. Get the protein waffles. You know, get get, and that's what I'm saying. Becoming aware of your your macros is important because you'll get to understanding how many empty carbs you're eating empty fats you're eating, you're just having a bunch of carbs and fats and you're not getting much protein. And that's why you're struggling to get that muscle definition. That's why you're struggling with body recomposition. Then we got acai bowls, fruit, uh, protein smoothies and so forth. So with the acai, like I'm saying, I like to mix in some uh, hemp protein or some pea protein. That's the protein I do. Just one single ingredient, organic hemp protein or organic pea protein. Um, that's me personal, right? If you consume dairy, then you can do whey. There's different types of protein out there. Figure out what's best for you. Uh, but for me and where I'm at, yes, it does taste nastier. One single ingredient, no natural flavors, no artificial flavors, no additives. Pure, straight, one ingredient, boom. So I mix that in with my smoothies. When I'm at the smoothie bar and I'm getting acai bowls or fruit smoothies, I always ask them to add protein. 
at plant protein. Um, that's that's my thing. So that's another pro tip. Most of the time, if you're not getting their protein smoothie, they're not going to put protein in it. So ask them to put protein in it so that you can also get protein from that smoothie or from that acai bowl. It may not taste as sweet. It may have a little protein taste to it, but we eat for the gains, y'all. It's a mindset thing. You're not always just, we're not supposed to just eat for taste all the time. We can eat for taste and gains, but mostly gains. You feel me? Um, and then as you you continue elevating, you're going to be able to, you know what I'm saying, eat for taste and gains all the time because you're going to know how to how to operate both fields instead of just taste. All right, papaya bowl. Woo, one of my favorite ways to break fast. Fruit bowl as well. Avocado toast with eggs. These are like, yeah, these are some of my favorite papaya bowl. Papayas when they're in season. Um, I did not like, and I, trust me, y'all, I'm with y'all. Papaya tastes like fart. I'm with you. It's not good. But when you click this little link right here, it's going to take you to the recipe that I enjoy, that I was put on with, with the peanut butter, the strawberry. Oh, it's, it's a little bowl. It looks like this picture right here, but there's peanut butter all on the side. Ooh, a little, little cinnamon. I'm telling y'all, hit this link, watch the video. You're going to like papaya bowls. With some granola on top, I'm I'm, I want one right now. And then you got the avocado toast. This is something that I always have for breakfast. Um, I put eggs on top, whether it's scrambled, whether it's fried eggs with some, I do tempeh bacon. You could do regular bacon. You could do sausage. You could do the smoked salmon that we talked about above. That's protein packed on top of some Ezekiel sprouted bread, or I'll do some sourdough sprouted bread. I'm telling you, crazy. Fruit bowl. Listen, get in the habit of prepping you up some fruit. Um, it's a really good habit to build if you can rinse your fruit you can cut it up put it in a bowl it just saves you the time in the future of having to rinse it each time uh so when you get your fruit you get your watermelon you get your fruit cut it all up rinse it all up so you can go to the fridge and just snack you ain't got to worry about you know what i'm saying or you can just bring it with you to work or bring it with you on the go whatever the case you may just put it on top of your oatmeal you may can just throw it into a smoothie it just saves you time Right. And we know that, come on, folks is lazy. So when we can make it easier, when we can make it more convenient, then we're more likely to stick with it. Right. So now we got lunch and dinner meals. So the way that I'm giving this to y'all, I'm not giving this to y'all as like, okay, this is exactly what they have for breakfast. This is exactly what they have for lunch. Then I'm giving y'all some options where y'all can plug and play with it yourself. You know, like I feel like, okay, I know everyone's brain works different, but we're all adults here, right? You know how to, and I, I want to empower you. I want to empower, I don't want to just give it to you like, you have to eat this for breakfast. You have to eat this for lunch. You, I want you to be empowered and be able to put meals together based on what I'm giving you and based on the macros that I'm going to give you. I do have, so if you go to um, down below, there's going to be a, a link, no stagnation dot free guide. Now that will have a breakfast, lunch, dinner in terms of, okay, meal one, meal two, meal three. That will have it in direct order and it'll have an actual guide where you can actually like build your own meal plan. That's not this. This is just overall blueprint, overall foundation ideas, on what you can implement into your prep, the type of meals that you can do. Right. So we got the brown rice slash quinoa. Both of these are fantastic. Um, if you're going to cook some food, if you're going to cook some rice, if you're going to cook some quinoa, don't just cook it for one serving, bro. Like literally cook it for multiple servings. It's going to save you so much time in the future. So they also have the on-the-go brown rice where you can just microwave it. This is something that I use very often when I first got into my fitness journey. It just made things a lot easier when I could just heat it up, put some chicken on top, a little barbecue sauce, we out the door. You feel me? Um, no hormonal, ground turkey and ground chicken. This was one of my favorite things. So both of these together, boom, boom, right? And then add some broccoli with it. Or add some veggie, frozen veggie stir fry with it. A little teriyaki sauce on top. Boom, you got yourself a meal. Then you got the red lentil pasta or the chickpea pasta. This is something that I implement often or a whole grain pasta. But I like the lentil and the chickpea because it has a bit more protein. It is an acquired taste. If you're used to white pasta and you go to red pasta or lentil pasta, you're probably not going to like it your first time. But with practice, with adjusting your taste buds, with seasoning and with flavoring and the sauce, you know, I like the red marinara sauce, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of depends on your cooking skills and also your taste preferences, but it does taste good. I do enjoy it. It did take me a couple of times to like, you know what I'm saying, really start enjoying it. Uh, but it it's a lot better to have a pasta that one is a complex carb and two 
provides protein and fibers because it's going to digest better. It's going to help you to hit your macros. And it's not just going to give you empty white carbs. This is just something that I, I implement and that I would recommend to y'all. Uh, so I like the chickpea pasta as well from Whole Foods. Um, I also like the, there's a spinach, there's a spinach pasta from Trader Joe's. I don't actually think I implement it in here. But yeah, just aim, get in the habit of looking at the nu nutritional label when you're buying your pasta, when you're buying your foods, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. You're going to build your own rapport. Turkey, chicken, fish burgers. If you're on the go, if you come home late night, you ain't got something prepped, and you just need something quick, you can always have your turkey burger, or you know what I'm saying, salmon burger, chicken burger, something quick, where you're getting your protein in, you can put this on top of some rice, Sometimes you got to eat dog food. That's what I like to call it. It ain't going to be a perfect meal. It ain't going to be a perfect. You may have some bread with a goddamn chicken patty and some sauteed spinach and eggs. You feel me? Random, but you're getting your macros in. And that's how it is sometimes, right? Um, tofu, only go organic tofu, to, to, tofu, tofu, uh, tempeh as well. So these are both, if you're vegan, great protein options. Um, it does take some, some practice with, 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 you know, your cooking skills and being able to flavor it. And, you know what I'm saying? You can, uh, saute it, you can bake it. Um, there's different ways that you can do both of these. You can pan fry, you can bake it, you can give it a crunch, you can bread it in like, uh, cornstarch, a little cornstarch and, and bake it. It'll give it a nice, you can get a nice little crunchy, crunchy texture out of the tofu the tempeh kind of tastes like mashed up peanuts uh but if you flavor it right it can taste good as well i mean it doesn't neither of these taste like anything it's up to how you flavor it so yeah try it out google recipes go on tiktok use your resources i'm here to give you a foundation not to give you every single recipe in the book all right frozen burrito bowls frozen burritos great way to just like like i said you come home or you need something quick at lunch Heat it up real quick, boom, bada, bang, grilled chicken strips, same same idea, tuna, salmon, shrimp, lean protein that you can implement, right? Um, so like with tuna, you can get like the tuna packs as a snack. You can eat it with like some, you know what I'm saying, some crackers. Don't overindulge in the crackers, but some crackers. You can make it as a salad. You can, you know what I'm saying, mix it up with some rice and some veggies. Boom, you, you got your protein, you got your complex carbs, you got your fat. All right, let's keep it pushing. <clears throat> oh, here's the pasta. Here's another uh, lentil pasta that I like. We got the chicken, right? Protein, quinoa, right? These are just more ideas. We got the chicken fried rice, uh, or they also have a veggie fried rice that I enjoy. Uh, and then they have like, you know, the frozen grain bags with like, you know, the, the vegetable medley with like the quinoa and um, beans and different things like that, where you can you know what I'm saying? Literally, you can saute this up real quick on a pan, defrost you some shrimp, mix it up together, boom, bada, bang. Quick prep. And that'll serve you for like at least two meals, right? Uh, really just depends on, yeah, maybe even three. This for sure will be gone in two. This maybe you can stretch for three, depending on how many servings and how many grams of protein you're going to get in this whole bag, right? Uh, and then the potatoes. Potatoes is one of my favorite ways to prep. You can either cut them up like this, throw them in the oven, right, with some oil, let them, you know what I'm saying, roast. Uh, you could also, I like to cut them down the middle, wrap them with some tin foil, bake them, bake potato style. You can also boil them, mash them up, mashed potatoes, right? Don't do the box mashed potatoes, processed mashed potatoes, make some real deal, right? And then we got some snacks. We got hummus. I would recommend, I like the hummus, I like local farmer's market, so forth. If you can't do that, they got the hummus packs, grass-fed jerky, turkey jerky, beef jerky, organic salted seaweed, right? Not high calories, nice low crunch, good substitution for chips, right? So we're looking for things that a lot of the times, it's not the fact that we actually want to eat the Doritos and the Lay's itself. It's the fact that we're used to having something to crunch on, right? We want something to right? So just find some replacements that can give you that same satisfaction, but not so many calories, not so much sodium, not so much uh, saturated fats and oils and things like that. Get you some overnight oats, put some granola and fruit on top, a little honey for a sweetener. You feel me? Greek yogurt, 
put some, you know what I'm saying, granola on top with some fruit and some of the overnight oats together. You feel me? And some protein powder. Come on, y'all. So this is real sauce. And I'm not going to go through every single thing. Tuna, smoothie prep. Smoothie prep is going to be a game changer. Make sure y'all download this. You feel me? Make sure you download this. Here's some of the, my faves, community faves. It's coconut water. I'm telling y'all, I really, I'm not capping. This is stuff I, edamame, great plant. Let me, let me, my throat's dry. Exactly. So good. Edamame, great snack, high in protein. You know what I'm saying? Uh, steam that with a little water. I like to do some some salt, a little honey. You don't eat the skin. You just suck the seed out and pause. And you know what I'm saying? Very enjoyable. I'm going to let y'all go through this. I'm not going to go through every single thing. Y'all go down. Y'all download this. Um, but we're even going to get into how to build your plate for opt optimal muscle growth, right? So we have protein, carbs, fats, veggies, right? So those are the macros here, right? We have the protein, the carbs, the fats, and then we have a list of, even though I just gave y'all a list up here, breaking it down some more here, right? With some extras and additional add-ons. This is a lot of gain, y'all. Snacks, high protein snacks, a lot of gain, y'all. What to watch out for? High sodium TV dinner ass meals, right? Saturated fats, ingredients. If it sounds like a freaking scientific chemistry puzzle, here and there is cool, but you want to, like I said, increase your health consciousness and figure out how you can minimize the ingredients that you're, especially in America, it's just like, bro, why does a chicken sandwich have all these ingredients? Why can't it just be A, B, and C? When you go overseas and you look at the ingredients overseas and y'all look on TikTok, they show the side-by-side the -side comparison, right? So it's like, come on, y'all, put two and two together, be more intentional, be more mindful, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, sodium is also a big part as well. Um, can also cause a lot of water retention, a lot of inflammation in the face and in the in the body in general. Uh, but yeah, breakfast, lunch, dinner. All right, so meal options for breakfast, lunch, dinner. I'm gonna let y'all go through this. This is very important. Why macros are important and what are macros? This is sauce. This is very important. This is what people don't understand. This is why people struggle with body recomposition and building muscle because they don't understand macros. So I'm gonna let y'all go through and I'm gonna download this, but I'm gonna break some of it down real quick. So macros, protein, carbs, and fats. Protein is the building block for muscle. That's your muscle definition. That's your, your, your density. So you need your meals to consist of 35 to 40% of your daily calories should be from your protein. That means majority, almost half of your calories should be protein. And I, most of you are right now, it's probably 10 to 20% of your calories are protein. The rest are carbs and fat. And that's why you're gaining body fat. That's why you're struggling to see that them cuts coming through. And you have to consistently do this, right? And carbohydrates, they are important, right? They're important. And you don't have to cut out carbohydrates to get lean, right? You just have to make sure that they're of quality, that you're not cooking them in hot, you know, a bunch of oil, you're not overeating them, and that you're training hard, you know, you're training hard and you're using them as fuel. You're not eating them and then sitting around. Fats are very important as well, right? Especially for, I mean, for everybody, but women especially, right? Because it's hormonal regulation. So a lot of times when we're doing our macros, women can intake a bit more fats, right? You want to, you know, get your healthy fats, your avocados, your, your, you know, your fats from your eggs, fats from your fish, um, different places, right? But all from real foods. Um, how to calculate your macros. I'm gonna let y'all go through all this, right? Because this is not a macros course, but there's sauce right here. So go down and make sure you grab that. You feel me? Um, Building high protein plates using Trader Joe's. My throat is getting dry right now. I'm here to explain this to y'all, but I'm just giving y'all the forefront so that y'all can implement this. And if you have questions, drop them down below and I'm happy to cover them. Or when you download this, we are going to get your email and your phone number. And when you download this, you will be able to email us back and ask questions. You will be able to text and ask questions. So you're not going to be alone still. 
And when you ask questions, I will make videos on it, right? I will respond. I will, we will help you. Literally, as long as you're willing to help yourself. Like, don't just be wasting time asking questions and not putting work in. Because we're going to ask you, what work are you putting in? We're not here to waste time. We're here to get to work. You feel me? Um, so, yeah, your total daily energy expenditure is going to be important. So you can use a calculator online to figure that out. You're going to set your calorie goal, right? And you're going to adjust it based on, okay, do I want to gain weight? Do I want to cut? Do I want to maintain? And then you're going to optimize your macros for that. So 40% protein. 30% carb, 30%, 40%, 30%, 30, 30% fat, right? That's a good foundation, 40, 30, 30. Or you can, you know, and then it could be like a 5 to 10% range. So 35, 35, 70, 30, right? So 35% protein, 35% carb. And since I'm speaking, it may be confusing, but it's literally right here. Oh, wait, wait, up here. 35 to 40. 25 to 30. It's right here, y'all. Use my fitness pal. Use a tracking app. Track your macros for a full day. Everything that you eat and see how much protein you're getting in. See how many calories you're getting. See how many carbs. See how many fats. Start to understand food in numbers, not just eating, just like, oh, understand what you're eating. And I guarantee. You're going to look at food a lot different. Your mindset's going to change and your physique's going to change. This is how bodybuilders build their body. Got to understand macros. All right. How to meal prep to hit your macros. I'm not going to go through all of this, y'all, but there's sauce here. I promise you. As y'all can see, we're giving up sauce. Food rules for building muscle and cutting fat, protein consciousness, Prepare, don't react. Most of the time, we are living in a reactional state. We're waking up. We don't know what we're going to have for breakfast. We go all day without eating. You get so hungry that you're finally eating, and you're going to go, and you're going to stop at Five Guys or Chick-fil-A, and you don't have discipline, so you're going to get a fry and a fried chicken sandwich and a shake when you know damn well that's not what you need to be having, right? But if you were prepared, if you were planned, if you're intentional and mindful, you would have a plan for that. You have some groceries. You would have a, restu a restaurant or a pickup spot that you like to go to at, at, after a long day that you know will fill, will hit the spot and hit your macros, right? Quality over everything, right? Eating real whole foods. So questions to ask yourself, is this high quality whole food? Has this been processed? Is it naturally occurring? What choice can I make that is a living whole food? Right? So go through this, y'all. This is not a full master class right now, but it might as well be, right? Protein consciousness. Where am I getting lean, clean protein? Where am I getting my uh, micronutrients, right? So there's macro and there's micronutrients. Macronutrients is really what we're focusing on right now. Protein, carbs, and fat. So you want to think about where am I getting my protein? How can I maximize my protein? And, and, and those are the first, first couple of steps. Um, enhancing frozen meals, adding fresh produce. You know what I'm saying? That's actually freaking exactly what you want to do. Add some, some spinach up in there. You know what I'm saying? Adding some peppers in there. Some, just to add a little bit more fresh dimensions, seasoning. You can season your food with some spices. You know, not lorries per se. I mean, a little lorries don't hurt if that's going to help you to enjoy your food and be consistent. And then as you continue elevating, you can figure out different spices that may have low sodium. Reason why I say lorries is we know that seasoning salt has that high sodium or that soy sauce. Instead of soy sauce, get you some coconut aminos because soy sauce is high in sodium, right? But if you got to eat you a little bit of soy sauce in order for you to enjoy your brown rice with your chicken and your veg. Okay, cool. But as you continue to elevate, as your results are coming in and you want to continue to tighten up, you're going to want to just switch things up. Combine different dishes. Um, <sighs> I'm going in, y'all. I hope y'all appreciate this. But go through this yourself as well. Um, conclusion, enjoy fast and simple home cooking. You know what I'm saying? Get Cook at home. Um, if you're super busy, I know there is a section up here, like if you absolutely hate cooking, if you're super busy, if time is money and you would rather make money than spend time in the kitchen, respect. I totally understand that. But there's a lot of people 
that don't make the bag like that and they got time to be in the kitchen. So this is this is for you. But if you are getting to the bag and you don't got time to be in the kitchen, hire a meal prep company, a local one that can del deliver your meals that is local so it's not frozen or get you a private chef or you can also have uh, places like cater to you, right? So um, think about like a place, for example, like um, like a depending on where you are, I would say Chipotle, but Chipotle got bought off by McDonald's. So I'm not sure of the quality of that anymore, but like a Kidobo or like a fresh freshly salad or simply salad where they have like, you know, some chicken, some, some grains, some rice with some, some, some salad, get you a few bowls and bring it home with you. You know, it's like find you a couple spots like that, that you enjoy and just don't just get one meal, get two meals, bring, bring some lunch for you the next day or bring some dinner for you then, you know, that night or something like that. Um, also, I know that there's grocery stores that have been implementing, depending on where you're at again, implementing meal prep meals as well you know and a lot of times even in the grocery store they have like overnight oats and they have you know smoothies and juices stock up on that and bring bring it with you home if you don't want to blend up your own smoothies smoothie prep there's different ways you can do it if you have questions if you're like okay i'm not trying to figure this all out myself this is what my company specializes in we come in and we help you build out a sustainable foundation for you this is why we do coaching i'm not selling a program right now one day there will be a low ticket, you know, just like program that people can buy. But our focus and the reason why we've been able to get the results that we get is because we are coming into your lifestyles and we're helping you optimize your lifestyle, your foundation, right? Um, it's not for everybody. Everybody's not accepted. But if you are accepted, if you are somebody that we feel like we can help and we are aligned in terms of, you know, what I'm saying your work ethic, mindset, your drive guarantee results guarantee it um so yeah any questions you guys feel free to after you download this you'll be able to reach out via text via email um like i said there's no pressure we don't even work with everybody anyways so the most benefit you will have is being able to ask questions to potentially be able to be coached and continue to get free resources like this whether it be workouts whether it be nutrition whether it be being in a community um and yeah just just growing so i hope that y'all like this please hit the like hit the subscribe tap in with your boy um and yeah you'll be able to tap in with some resources down below if you have any questions hit the link down below peace i mean you know yeah if you have any questions comment down below and hit the link down below hit something tap in peace